hello this vlog is picking up pretty much where we left off last time i only stopped yesterday filming in fact i stopped this morning but the vlog was getting over an hour long and i was like mm. <laughs> i know sometimes you guys like a longer vlog but let me know just how long you like it i thought maybe over an hour was a bit too much but anyway it's friday morning still yeah we've got 10 minutes left of morning i am just gonna go to tesco's because every year i like to give my local post office um some chocolates and a christmas card just to say thank you for looking after all of your parcels for another year i'm gonna go to tesco's just get them a little box of chocolates or something that they can all share then i'm gonna go drop all these parcels off go have a cup of tea at my dad's house and then i'm gonna come back and finish the february wooden pin for wooden pin club next year okay so i got them some of these these are really nice they're also vegan friendly um i got myself a box too because they were on offer but um yeah i'm gonna pop these with their card take these to the post office oh my god guys i've just pulled back on my drive and the reaction from the post ladies was priceless so i'm home i'm gonna go inside get warm because it is freezing then i need to clean the bathroom <laughs> which isn't very glamorous but we've all got to do it and get um finishing my february wooden pin so see how today goes well the rest of today anyway <laughs> So since I got home earlier, I'm also sorry if you can hear James singing in the shower. Long may it continue. <laughs> I was clearing out my studio earlier. If you were here last week, you may notice that this looks a lot tidier. But I found these had got kind of wedged between some greeting cards on my shelf because I've been sorting out my like just stock organization and for a while now you know i've been struggling with space in this room and i've tried to i've tried to like develop my storage um solutions so i can easily organize my stock and as things have grown which is amazing i've really struggled for space because this room is tiny so it was easy to misplace these stickers but look typically if you watched last week's studio vlog you'll know <laughs> that I went through a bit of hell at the end of that vlog because my printer ran out of ink and then the ink cartridge was like a faulty one so 
I had to do some magic with my printer just to fulfil some orders because I thought all my stickers were out of stock and it was really unlike me to not have them in stock and prepared because I at least have a couple of packs lying around and there's three packs of big cats and then a pack of birds here as well um, I already had these ones but typically these were ones that weren't ordered it was these ones along with a couple of others so ah it's just typical isn't it it's just typical that I ended up stressing a little bit over trying to make these up and they were hiding between some greeting cards <sighs> ah well at least I've got them so I'm going to pop these ones back in stock on my website just in case any of you guys would like them uh, I've also had these going for a while now. I've had them going for a while because I was accidentally sent double the amount and these are just hot chocolate postcards. They're blank on the back but um, I've had them for a while and this is my last stack so what I'm going to do is pop these in orders as little freebies from now on until they're all gone so you can use them to like write a note on or something or pop them on your own notice boards and things but they're my last stack. And I'm just sorting through things and filtering out any old stock or stock that I would like to discontinue. So that's them. Oh, we are officially packed before Christmas. Uh, these are the last nine. In fact, that's a Christmas present for a friend. Um, but the last eight parcels have gone. We're all up to date with the Patreon. Everything is all set to take a break starting tomorrow. So... Um, just to clarify, the shop's going to remain open, but I'm not going to post any parcels until the 30th of December, if any come through, that is. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm ready for a break now, so I'm going to go to the post office, then I'm going to my dad's for a cup of tea. <laughs> I've been going around a lot recently, and I'm not complaining. I really like spending time with him. Then I'm going to come home and work on a sketchbook tour for Patreon. <laughs> Wednesday and I have a stack of receipts. I want to get as much up to date as possible before Christmas because it really helps to settle my mind and just help me feel like I've got my life together in general. So I'm going to make my way through these and file them and hopefully get a little bit more up to date with my accounts and receipts. So it is still Wednesday, I did all my accounts earlier, um, they're all up to date, I could do with um, filling a tiny bit more in, 
um, but it's up to date at the same time, like if that makes any sense. This is my to-do list that I've continued from last week. So we've had the floor man come today to measure up the kitchen to get the floor replaced that that courier damaged. <laughs> um, I have finished the January stickers for my Patreon club thing. Um, I'm going to have to start a new list soon. I have ordered supplies because I'm running low on all of these. Um, I've decided to sit down and film a 2020 goals video, like a small business goals video. I thought that might be quite fun. I've never done one of those before, but I thought it'd be nice to sit down and reflect on what I'd like to achieve next year. It's just been a tying up loose ends kind of day. Today is technically like the last day of work in my studio. I've been tying up loose ends and from now I can just um, bit and bob get things done like some drawings focus on drawing mainly which is why i'm continuing to vlog so it's not i'm not shutting off from everything i want to continue to vlog for fun but um everything's been busy recently to the point where i've not felt as though i've got much drawing done or actual drawing it's crazy like when you're an illustrator how little drawing you do in comparison to everything else that you do for now I've got an hour before I need to go and get James from work, so I'm going to sit and pre-cut some sticker sheets. I've got them on the iPad ready to go. This is the January ones and yeah, I'm going to see how many I can pump out before I need to go. we have a fresh new year coming and I thought I'd show you uh, a couple of bits that I got so this is just a new folder it's from Wilco's how lovely is it it's just for my 2020 receipts it was um 150 there we go but it's just got this lovely grey and pink leaf design on it it's very aesthetically pleasing for this studio space and then I couldn't resist um a new box in the same design so it's just got a little thing at the front so I can pop some badges into this or something or enamel pins I'm not sure but yes I always like to start a fresh new year with some new organizational materials you know how it is over here pop those there and I also got one of these this was my Christmas present to myself because um, I've wanted to do podcasts for a while this microphone was recommended to me quite a lot I'll probably use it at some point for sit down videos I just want to unbox it now because I still haven't opened it it arrived the week before Christmas and I still haven't opened it so I want to do a bit of an unboxing and see what it looks like and then have a play and um, yeah podcasts I'll come into my Patreon page and um, I'll probably as I say use this microphone for videos as well but let's crack it open and see what it looks like Look at this. Okay, so I've set it up and the instructions were really easy. I'm using um, a desktop Mac and it was really easy to set up and I've just had a little bit of a play with it. Um, and in a few days when I'm ready to do a podcast, I think I might attempt to give it a go. Uh, but yeah, the setup was really easy. The sound quality is awesome. It took a bit of tweaking because for a while my computer was recording just from its built-in microphone and I was like, oh, that sounds terrible, but it was my fault, not this thing. 
I just needed to tweak the settings so that it was listening to this and not the computer. Um, but it's working and it's great. Very good purchase. So these little teeny tiny candles are from an Etsy shop and I'll do my usual, I'll link them down below, my camera doesn't want to focus but they are from Pretty Little Tea Shop and I haven't actually looked at their Etsy shop yet, I got these for Christmas from, uh, they were in the stocking that Leanne sent me and they smell really nice so I had a bit of a change around over Christmas, this cabinet used to be in my kitchen um, but we went to Ikea and got a new chest of drawers for the bedroom and whilst we were there saw um, a slightly better storage cabinet for our kitchen. It's the same as this one but it's got something else built onto the top of it. I will show you later actually, <laughs> probably better than trying to explain it. But we decided this one could come up here. Excuse all of the mess, I've got parcel boxes ready to go <laughs> just down here. Um, but one of the Calax units is now in James's man cave. Um, model painting room and I've got this thing here in its place and it's actually better it's got a lot more space in it but the shelves make it just mm. down here I have just laptop and iPad cases and then all of this is packaging and I try and save as much as I can that can be salvaged but um yeah there's boxes and stuff in here envelopes here um my printer was small enough to fit on this shelf and there's just ink cartridges here as well tripod paints sweeties for parcels these are all my christmas cards these are all now in the sale so i'm trying to just make some more space by getting rid of these sketchbooks and things and then at the back there's just like craft stuff and electrical basket at the back but yeah it's just much much better and i've got a lot more ooh, space than i did before Okay, so um, it feels weird to not acknowledge this and I understand that it probably, um, I've got an itch, I understand that it probably seems really strange to be saying this now, um, but I don't want to finish this studio vlog and not like acknowledge it, so here goes. Over Christmas we have been going through a miscarriage, we found out at our 12 week scan on the 19th of December and on the 22nd of December it started now um, if I seem like I'm speaking in an emotionless tone or that I'm not faced by this in any way because that's how I feel like I'm coming across and I'm not sure if I am or not but um, I've had all this time to kind of process it and um, cry a lot basically um, so um, I'm currently mid miscarriage and it's kind of hard to explain and I will probably most likely do a whole video sitting down and talking about this experience because if there's one thing that I've learned from this it's that it's not spoken about as much as I feel and from what I've heard other people say they feel um, is okay like it's just so taboo and it's not spoken about the reason i say mid miscarriage is because it's not over yet it started on the 22nd of december i was back at the hospital on monday and um everything hasn't passed yet which shocks me because after what i've seen um and experienced since the 22nd of december um, I'd have thought it was all gone, but it's it's not even properly started yet. If I sound like I'm talk, I feel like I'm talking nonsense. I was at the hospital on Monday, and it hasn't all gone. So I'm back at the hospital next week, and I'm really not sure how things are going to go. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll need medical intervention at this point. But the reason I'm carrying on with my studio vlogs is because I just would really like some normality. I've had all of Christmas and New Year. It's currently the 2nd of January, so Happy New Year. Um, but, but yeah, life goes on and that in itself is quite a cruel saying. But at this point, it's like what I have to keep telling myself because 
it's just I'm not the type of person that does very well with sitting at home doing not very much I know that that's some people's way of coping and they just need the time and the space but I feel like over Christmas I've had that time and the space and what I feel like this week is that I just want to start easing myself back in to my job the other thing is I don't get sick pay and I feel like I've been off sick um since like I the last year I was working was 18th and that's why I stopped working on the 18th because I knew I had the scan on the 19th and as of today it's currently Thursday and my appointments next week I don't know if I will then have to sign myself off again depending on what they say are next week so yeah I'm sorry that that's potentially cryptic and I want to talk about this more but at this point I I don't really know what to say it's not over yet it's not complete and I hate that as well complete but it's really hard it's like the hardest thing I've ever done all I've done is cry uh, my heart is broken I've never felt pain like it speaking of pain I'm on pain relief right now which again is probably why I'm able to sit here and talk to you guys but I'm also very comfortable at home and I'm fortunate that I do work from home and that I feel like I'm in control of my own pace so um, it would probably be very different if I was working with clients and doing um, commercial work and things like that but right now I'm in full control of my workload and what I do uh, so that's why for now at least for this week I'm back and I just want to carry on and be my usual creative self because I feel like that's what I need it's weird because I feel like I can't start to work on, you know, physically and emotionally um, not getting over this, but you know what I mean, I don't feel like I can until it's all over, which right now it's not, so um, James is at work and if I don't, I'm meant to be staying at home anyway, so if I'm not doing something, then I'm literally sat on my couch downstairs like a potato doing not very much, so... I'm going to be gentle with myself uh, and take my time, I'm not doing anything too crazy but I thought it was weird. I feel like I want to carry on with this vlog because it's been going on since before Christmas and I don't want to, you know, I just I don't want to abandon it. I want to carry on but I also felt like it was weird to not acknowledge that that is what was going on. I feel a bit broken to be honest, I feel like an empty shell. I also feel like when you're a creative person that it's a very healing process to be creative it really helps you so again I know that the way that I am dealing with this right now by coming back to work and sitting talking to you and thank you painkillers because they are probably the reason that I'm able to sit and talk to you right now but I fully understand and accept that my way of dealing with things and coming back to work and being creative probably isn't everybody's cup of tea and it's not the thing that the next person would choose to do um so that's what's going on as i say it just felt weird to not acknowledge it because it's happened and i want to remain my usual transparent self and it's obviously a massive part of my life and i show you guys a lot um but yeah i'm, I'm just trying to be strong right now and put one foot in front of the other and literally take every hour as it comes <laughs> in an hour's time I might change my mind and might think why did I do that but um, I'm just trying my best and that's what I feel like doing I don't feel pressured I don't feel forced I don't feel like it's something that I should do or need to do it's something that I want to do and I just want to make that really clear as well because I know as well I'd be the sort of person to be like Ellis take your time take all the time you need and I'm just like I need to do something so everyone deals with a broken heart in very different ways and this is just mine so yeah I know it's weird to add into the middle of a studio vlog but this is raw and honest footage for you so when I say I'm being gentle with myself I have been packing a few orders so thank you for those and I really enjoy doing those you guys know I do so thank you um, they keep me busy and they really i love building pretty boxes and just it does a lot for me up here so thank you i've also been planning my podcasts for this year um, and topics so if there's any topics that you'd like to see talked about over a podcast 
just let me know uh, i'd like to know and that's just all i've been doing really it's just planning things and um wooden pin club has started as well so that is what oh, i don't know if you can see them behind me actually but that's what all of these boxes are there wooden pin club the first pin um you guys will start to see it soon and i've got the second pin so february's pin is coming um within the next week i hope i ordered them way before christmas but obviously with it being christmas and new year i'm not sure when they'll turn up but that is those so yeah planning even the march one uh, i've done a lot of drawing <laughs> over christmas just doodling away and taking my mind off things but that is what i mean when i say i'm being gentle i'm not running marathons i'm not like 24 hour vlogging and things like that i am actually taking it real steady and it's healthy to talk so that is where i'm at so the question is was it even christmas if you didn't have chocolate coins 